Hello everyone and good morning. This is day two of our five day hack across West Elizabeth and we are starting here at Manzanita Post. We were up early once again. The alarms were actually set for 4.30 a.m. but Queasy managed to snooze all of them. When we finally did get up, I was first out the cabin to check on the boys and give some morning cuddles. We set off around 6.30 a.m. and made sure to take the pace very slowly since there wasn't a warm-up arena, so the boys had to hit the road straight away. Jericho was very stiff. He had a lot of lactic acid build-up from yesterday that I needed to make sure he worked out properly and slowly. But the good news is he was very focused and was listening to me very well, which was a very nice change from yesterday, so I actually got to enjoy the morning sunrise. We decided to have some fun and try out jumping over a few logs. Jericho certainly was excited, as was I, because we rarely ever get to do cross country at home, and I felt this was a very nice treat for the both of us. Here, Queasy is showing off her skills with some questionable logs, but I have to say, for a Mustang, Threran seems to really excel. Except here, when the pair seems to clip the jump, but they were both completely unbothered by it. We were both on a bit of a high after the jumping, and we really wanted to give the boys a field day, so we decided on a gallop. I insisted Queasy goes first so that Jericho really had a run for his money. Once Theron was off, all I could try and do was hold him back until he let loose. That was the best ride of my life, even watching it back, it's just incredible. I know Jericho had a blast, even if he was a little mad he didn't catch Theron. Galloping Jericho just reminds me of the pure speed and strength that these horses are built for. Fun fact, Jericho was actually bred for the racetrack but his breeders did not have any successful runners, so eventually went bankrupt. Jericho didn't actually race. He was sold to his previous owner at the age of about four. His old owner didn't work with him much at all. He just tried to use him as a lesson horse, but because he's so difficult to work with, he spent a lot of the time in the paddock, getting fat. Until I bought him when he was six, and I've been working with him ever since. He is in much better shape now, but his manners are still something I contend with now and then. However, there were no issues of manners with either horses when we reached the river crossing. 
This was the second river crossing of the trip, and even Theron didn't throw his head once at the stream. I'm pretty sure the hot gallop wore them both out, so the cool water was more of an escape than an obstacle. After that, the rest of the ride was very calm. So, here is a montage. to this lovely town called Strawberry. This time, the horses had these adorable stalls to rest in. Very much well deserved after a long day of carrying us two natters. It took quite a while to settle the horses in. We really wanted to make sure they were fed, watered, clean and relaxed before we left. It was around 5 p.m. when we finally settled the horses in. So, me and Queasy decided to explore the town. I can confirm this is definitely a bucket list visit, with a gushing stream cutting straight through it. I'm pretty sure this is the same one we crossed much further down. Rustic but artsy architecture, and an abundance of flowers and greenery, which also made the whole town smell like pine trees, all with the feeling of being tucked away into the most peaceful corner of the earth. Also, the locals are really nice. When we were at the general store, the guy behind the counter and his son helped us to correct our route to be more scenic and easier on the horses. Of course, in true West Elizabeth fashion, it began to rain. Don't worry, my camera is waterproof. This here is our hotel. While it may look simple on the outside, the inside was very... ornate? It broke the bank a little bit in terms of budget, but there was really nowhere else available here turns out to be a very short evening as we both passed out on our giant soft beds. That wraps up day two. So if you would like to see the rest of our journey, please let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.